All right. Uh, I'm author Harry Carpenter. I write horror, science fiction, fantasy, and I run a super cool horror book festival as we pan over. Uh, let's see. We're looking at a uh, top five horror movies. Uh, I have to go with my, I'm going to go top down, but there's no particular word. Uh, Ghostbusters always has a place in my heart. Yes, it's a horror, it's a comedy horror. Uh, I have a tattoo of Ghostbusters. I'm with the Charm City Ghostbusters, so I have to lead with that as the special mention can't be ever be dethroned. Evil Dead, the franchise itself, I can't pick a single one because they're all just as goofy and weird as the other, and you have to be in the right mood for certain movies. Um, it's the pinnacle B-movie of B-movies, can't be dethroned. Absolutely love Beetlejuice. Um, Beetlejuice is a fantastic film, and I'm not going to say it a third time. Um, I, Samantha Mathis is next door at this event. And American Psycho is the absolute, I love psychological thrillers, especially ones where you're not sure if the killer really is doing anything, if it's in his head, if he's bonkers, or if he's like really bonkers. Um, I absolutely love psychological stuff. So getting away from like the slasher stuff, I love, and I'm gonna blanket statement this, foreign suspense supernatural films, like The Ring, The Grudge, just to give you some names, The Eye, um, there's another one called, like I think it's the ear, where a girl's deaf and they replace her eardrums, and now she can hear dead people, kind of like Haley Joe Osment, only uh, hearing them instead of seeing them. Uh, so yeah, those would probably be my top five. Awesome, thank you so much, appreciate it. Yeah.